in-ear monitors. They've been a game changer when it comes to live performance of musicians. Some people enjoy to listen to music with them, but the design, the philosophy behind that design was to isolate a musician on stage from all the external noise and only hear what he needed to hear to perform for his audience. They've been around since the 1980s and now with the technologies getting better and better, we have more driver and especially more affordable in-ear monitors. And one of the game changers that came to the market a couple years ago is the brand KZ or KZ. These were so affordable that I was getting suspicious at the quality that you would get for the price you would pay. Some of the models that we have here are really affordable and I want to see how much you get until the curve uh, ends up to a little under a $40. And that is only possible because of today's video sponsor, Timu. Yes, I have to check the pronunciation on that before doing the video. Timu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced product in multiple categories. They offer free shipping and free return up to 90 days. You can get a $5 credit on your next purchase if you have an item with late delivery. And their price protection policy cover you if you order an item and the price drop within 30 days. You can request a partial refund. If you download the Timu app via the link in the description down below and search code DKT7536, you will get one pair of free, yes, these free, KZ EDX Pro headphone if you are a new user. If you're not, you can claim a $100 coupon by searching the code DKT9928 and that's for all user and returning customer. Now that we get that out of the way, let's check out some in-ear monitors. As a disclaimer, yes, Timu did send me out all the in-ear that you see in front of you right now, but uh, no money change in, and they do not have any influence on my opinion of the product. I cannot be bought that easily. I have six different model of KZ or KZ. I'm probably gonna interchange those terms during the video. No apologies for that. And those come with either a cable that has a built-in microphone or not. I do not believe that will influence the overall sonic result of the experience today. But uh, just as a side notice, if you have a little 1 8 jack here or 3.5 millimeter with four connection like the one that we have here some device do not like to have the fourth pin that is dedicated for the microphone in there and sometime in some case it could be problematic so in doubt order without a microphone before I do any listening tests, I would like to point out that I will review these in your monitor as the perspective of a monitor engineer. I'm a live sound engineer, this is what I do for a living, and I believe these are more headed towards musician more than people that would like to enjoy listening to music. Uh, the difference will be in the overall stuff that we would put into them. Any music that is available on any listening platform will have a mastering process applied to it, where when you are a live performing musician, it's gonna be straight out of the mixing console with more dynamics, uh, different EQ range. Sometimes we will not limit ourselves to what the usual typical broadcast is calling for. Basically, if they survive the uncompressed unmastered test, they will definitely work really well in a fully mastered situation. I'm gonna bring up a virtual sound check, which is, for those of you who don't know, a live recording of a band that I'm playing back through the console. I have that recorded on an SD card as a multi-track, so I have all the instrument in individual channel, and I'm gonna to listen to the in-ear mix of the musician that were on the other end of that console. Maybe some of those headphones will bring up some stuff or make it more easier for you to hear some stuff. You know, when you are a bass player, you wanna have that low end, a drummer, you wanna have that you know fat bass drum but if you are a guitar player or a singer this is something that is way way less uh, needed for you you probably want to hear more of the mid-range stuff better than having you know that hold on the civic subwoofer in the trunk kind of feel in your here I'm gonna use a multi-track that I recorded myself and out of respect to the artist I'm not gonna show you guys the full mix and I'm not gonna give you guys the vocal it's only gonna be drum bass guitars and some of the backing track that's gonna be for all the tests that we're gonna do today now let's start at the beginning with the most affordable pair of the bunch those will be the KZ ADX Lite uh, those are available with or without a microphone 
They weigh 22 grams, they have a frequency response of 20 to 40,000 hertz, impedance of 23 ohms, and a sensitivity of 108 dB at 1 watt. The first thing I think we should do is to do a test fit, just to see how the in-ears fit in your here when I try to put them on. Uh, there is no left or right uh, marking on these. Here's the model number uh, that maybe you can use as a reference. On the cable itself, I don't think there is any left and right indication either. So I think those will be just fine, even though they have a slight curve like I don't know how much you can see that, but they have a slight curve that tell me that this, you know, it's it's twisted a little this way, so it will fit on my left ear. So I'm gonna take the bud out. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I'm gonna plug it in, and I'm gonna try the left one here. If you ever wonder, that's the part that goes in your ear, and that's the part that goes over your ear. Usually I'm wearing the cable in the back when I'm performing as a musician or as a monitor engineer I like to have my cable in the back and if I do so Yes, it tends can you see it tends to push The bud out of my ear. so those are really made to go with the cable Here at the front which would make sense because they have a built-in microphone. You don't want a cable on the back, right? Just be aware of that if you purchase them for uh, stage use, maybe uh, that could be an issue for you if you don't want to have your cable here in the front. Some people probably don't care. Just make sure to select the right model for you. So I'm going to plug in in my console here. Let's take a listen. Let's see how well these most affordable Helier holds up when listening to a uncompressed live mix. Okay, first impression is... They can handle low end. It's not... It's not as low as some other headphones, but for most use case, I think it will be fine. That's the drum. Can you hear that bass drum? That's that's the kind of stuff that I was talking about that can You know be problematic if your headphones are not designed to um, Sustain that much energy in the low end Let's see That's good that's good. Now, other low end part will be the bass. Let's switch out to the bass. Massive low end. Yeah, it can handle low end really well. They are a little bright, and I think I'm gonna see that uh, listening to uh, the guitar. Let's go first guitar. Yeah, definitely bright around 4K, which is not a bad thing. I mean, honestly, it's probably easy to mix vocal and guitar into these. If you are a guitar player, if you are a singer, that can probably do it for you, because they have a lot of low end, but they are really high mid focus it's a great thing if you are playing guitar or a higher range instrument and vocal and yeah honestly i'm surprised by the amount of low end that you get in them and definition they are like i said a little on the bright side but so far not aggressive they just put an emphasis on the higher frequencies second guitar mix yeah I think they translate that really well on that mix. It's a little bright, but I have a lot of definition. So far, I must say, I'm impressed. For really affordable, really affordable headphone. Yeah, really happy. The only thing that I can say is honestly, the fit could be better, 
but I mean at that price point if you're willing to have your uh, if you're willing to have your cable at the front they're doing it they're doing it just fine seriously I'm impressed Onto the EDX Pro, we have a weight of 15 gram, we have a frequency response that goes as low as 10 hertz and high as 20,000 hertz, impedance of 16 ohm and a sensibility of 110 dB at 1 watt. Now let's take a look what's in the package. Uh, we have that little package that slides out. And by the way, those are the ones that are free if you download the uh, Timu app. In the description uh, again cable is the attach of these we're gonna have a nice little bag with a cable pretty much the same cable as uh, the one that we previously checked out we have the earbuds here in a little plastic container those come with white earbuds I don't know if they will make any difference but they seem to be a little different than the other one that we uh, seen before the cable goes at the top and looking at that it's telling me that this is my left, but there is no writing on the earbud itself that tells me if it's left or right. Okay. Fit seems a little better. I don't know how much of a difference on the shape uh, there is here, but it seems to be a better fit. You know, just the background noise of the preamp is a little louder than before. So let's take a listen. First the drum. A little less bottom end but more definition than the other one. They seem fairly flat and I seem to have a lot of headroom in them. Okay. Not too bad. Now let's do some bass. I can hear the low end, but it's not like having subwoofer. It's it's a nice it's a nice clean low end, I should say. It's not having too many emphasis on low end. The guitar seems to come through a lot into these. Yeah, listening to the guitar mix. Let's go to the guitar two mix. Yeah, really not bright, really pleasant to the ear. Flat sounding in the sense of this is a. They are fairly balanced. This is what I mean. It's, well, I don't want to say that they are flat. They are really well balanced. I try to move them around and see if they hold really well, and if I push them, if the low end getting some more emphasis, but no. Honestly. So far I like them, they are really, they cover everything really well. Let's go back to the bass. Yeah, really, really fine, really, really, really uh, well balanced pair of headphones. They seem to have a really accurate representation of the mix. They do not put emphasis on anything. So I'm going to classify them as really good all around there. The uh, fit is really well. I don't know if it's the white buds that making a difference here, but they seem to fit really well. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. They are really, really good. And especially since you can get a pair uh, for yourself for free, they are definitely worth the money that you're going to pay for them. Here we have the ZSN Pro, weight at 29 gram, uh, frequency response from 7 to 40,000 hertz, that's a lot, uh, impedance of 24 ohm, and a sensibility of 112 dB at 1 watt. So these should be lighter and a really, really loud headphone, judging by the dB rating. They are really light so they do not feel like you have your rocks uh, in your ear. Again, no marking for left and right, but with a little cable connector on top, we know looking at them that this is gonna be right and looking at this with the butt at the front this is gonna be left. The default ear buds on them seems fine for me, so I'm gonna put the spare one here and let's take a listen. 
Starting on drums again. Oh, they're loud. They're really loud. I have to turn down the volume here. Okay, so far good. Not too bright. Let's go to the bass. I'm gonna check the bass instrument and, if, and see if I can remove the low cut on that and push it. Yeah! They tried to shake my skull. They are really, they are not, you know, they're not bass heavy, but they have the extended range. I can feel that they are trying to give out that really subwoofer feel in your ear. Feels really good. I can feel the stereo separation in them. They are really, really wide. They have that extended low end. I can feel it. Uh, let's take a listen at the guitar. Yeah, listening to the guitar, they are really um, not too bright, not aggressive. I can take some loud guitar in these and it would not uh, try to rip my head off. Really, really satisfying, really, uh, really pleasant earphone to listen to. They do not have, you know, frequencies that will cause ear fatigue after an hour or two of show playing with them. I really feel that they are pleasantly soft. I feel like I could have them on for a long period of time and not being disturbed by the physicality of them nor listening to a long time uh, music at loud volume in them. Really happy so far. Now we have the ZVX model, they weight 128 gram. They have a frequency response from 20 to 40,000 Hertz, impedance of 25 ohm, and a sensibility of 109 dB at one watt. I really like the black tips on these ones. This is usually closer to what I use on a headphone. And oh, these are made of metal. Those are not made out of plastics, they seem so much stronger. They seem way, way, way higher quality. Wow, okay. Um, and the little hole in the center. Let's take a look at the cable that they have in there. Okay, same old cable with a mic. I believe this one would be uh, my left ear. These do come uh, with spare earbuds. I'm gonna try the bigger one. Okay, the cables seem to dictate that they, they should be at the front because we have a microphone here. Uh, let's give it a try. Uh, so far, they seem to be really good quality headphones made out of metal. So let's take a listen. Oh yeah. Still a little bright, but definitely a better low end. So make sure if you have these to use the right size of the earbuds for you uh, to listen. But I must say so far, I'm really impressed. Those are really screaming quality. They are really solid. I love everything that is matte black, but the paint is really good on them. The, they, they feel really, really like quality headphones. Yeah, really happy with them. Let's go guitar mix. Okay. Definitely, definitely fine for a musician. Honestly, really happy with them. Yeah, that low end is way, way, way better with these headbrots on. Really nice. Definitely feel heavier and from a higher uh, price range, these. The ZS10 Pro, they weight 32 grams. They have a frequency response of seven to 40,000 Hertz, impedance of 30 ohms, and a sensibility of 111 dB at one watt cable, some replacement earbuds, and they seem to be made out of metal. Ooh, 
They seem to have like stainless steel finish. Mmm, they are really uh, good looking. Oh, a different cable this time. This one is made out of clear plastic instead of that brown-ish like the other ones. Again, we start with the drum. Ooh, low end, low end for days. Not brittle, really defined. Let's go with the bass. Yeah. A lot of low end, not too much emphasis on the bass, you know. A lot of bass response, but they feel open. You can feel that there's something in, in there that the other one don't all have. Uh, Define clarity. Let's go guitar. Yeah. Really easy to find yourself in a mix with that, you know. You listen to your guitar. You're not looking, it's not, you know, tight. It's really open, it's really wide. Yeah, I heard of some other people that I know to have the uh, Z, the Z, ZS, the ZS10 Pro, and I must say that I'm surprised. They are really, really good headphones. I really feel why a lot of people enjoy these. Really interesting. I'm honestly really surprised by these. They sound really, really good. They sound open, uh, clear. There's not a lot of frequencies that are trying to fight in your earbuds, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm gonna say it, I'm impressed. The ZS10 Pro X, they weight 68 gram. They have a frequency response of 20 to 40,000 Hertz, impedance of 29 ohms, and a sensibility of 12.06 dB at one watt. Okay, so white foam on these. We have some spare one that I'm gonna leave in the box for now. They seem to have a little more depth than the other ones, uh, which is maybe helpful for you if you have a uh, deeper ear canal. If the other ones are, you know, sitting flush against your ear and do not reach uh, far enough for you to have a good seal. Let's take a listen at these. These have the white cable, white transparent cable, not the brown-ish like the previous one. Let's take a final listen. Drum mix first, let's go. Really loud. Again, all well balanced, no frequency bump anywhere. Let's take a look at the bass. Ooh. Even if they advertise to stop at uh, 20 hertz, they really feel You can really feel that low end in them. A lot of low end, a lot of guitars uh, poking through. Really defined, not, you know, doesn't feel like everything is drive by one driver. Everything seems to live in its own world. They really, they really sound um, open. They really have that um, almost no harmonic distortion kind of feel. Really cool headphone. Really, really cool headphone. Fits really well. They don't want to move. They don't want to go anywhere. And if you if you wear them in the back. If you wear if you wear them in the back like I usually wear headphones they yeah they, they when you pull on the cable in the back they try to push the headphone inside of your ear canal and this is what I like about in-ears you don't want them to drop out when you are uh, doing a show okay now let's move to uh, a recap and what I think of these headphones 
I have the six uh, pair of N phone in front of me and as a first look at the KZ brand I now understand why a lot of people like them they are really affordable for the quality that you get I'm convinced that there's definitely a place for them in the market my favorite pair of the bunch are the ZS10 Pro Non X just the regular Pro uh, out of the box they were the one that fits me better they sounded really good those definitely are my favorite pair of the bunch and I would recommend them uh, without any problem if we go a little down the line uh, the entry one are fine but I think they are more headed toward people that uh, want to listen to music than really a professional musician if you are a gigging musician looking for a pair of in-ear for you to do some stage work uh, this is gonna be more than fine it will get you through pretty much any gig uh, if you have a good source it will sound really really good just a quick reminder go download the Timu app with my code in the description down below you will get uh, a pair of EDX Pro for free you cannot go wrong with free and now, until the next video, I want you guys to please take care of yourself. I see you all later.